Choosing a successor for your business is a great challenge because let's face it, nobody wants a successor. Everybody wants to keep running their business as they always have and continuing to make it grow because they have felt like they have put the most they possibly can into this business and they want to see this business through. But some point in time, it's going to become necessary to choose a successor. Now would be a good time to consider, do you want to possibly start passing some of the business interest on to family members? Some technical ways of doing it are a grantor retained annuity trust, self-canceling installment notes, private annuities, intentionally defective grantor trust, charitable trust, but there are various ways to do this. Another person that might be interested in your business might be a key employee. And there are ways of passing on interest in the business through the time that employee is working with the company through something called an ESOP, which are employee stock ownership plans, or other methods so that that employee becomes more and more interested in the business because they have an interest in the business. Another way that you might consider selling your business is through co-owners. It's very important if you have co-owners in your business that you initially establish some type of agreement, whether it's a buy-sell agreement or otherwise, whereby you have an established plan as to what will happen if one of those co-owners wish to exit the business or is forced to exit the business due to health or other reasons. This buy-sell agreement would allow you to have a preset determined price to sell the business to the co-owners or already an established method of determining a set price. Finally, there could be outside investors that are interested in your business. They could be the successors to your business. You need to seek some legal counsel and also counsel from your financial advisors.